So like you mentioned, tone at the top uh, is a very integral part of any ethical com and compliance program. And tone at the top sets an organization's guiding values and ethical climate. So Sonia, starting from you, in your view, why is tone at the top important for establishing a world-class ethical organization? Um, thank you, Mirza, for the question. Uh, so we can have a great uh, compliance program on paper with all the you know relevant elements in it, uh, but if it does not have the tone at the top, um, it might not be successful. When we talk about the tone at the top, what we are pri primarily referring to is um, your board of directors, um, your CEO, and the chief compliance officer. Uh, what is the tone set at this level? What we merely want to know is, you know, are they asking the right questions? Are they laying emphasis on the important issues? Are they involved in the compliance program? Um, are they interested in the progress of the compliance program? And then we uh, talk about the CEO. Um, let's say from an employee's perspective, do I hear my CEO talking enough about these issues when he addresses, um, you know, when there are town halls happening, we're celebrating our success. Are those the times when we hear our CEO, um, you know, emphasizing on these topics and linking it uh, to our compliance program? Uh, so I think all of this primarily sets the tone at the top. Um, and then it has a trickle down effect to, let's say, your senior management and then your middle management and so on. Uh, thank you, Sonia, for sharing your thoughts and your views. Of course, this is important because tone at the top uh, creates uh, ethical culture and ethical environment in the organization. If I would ask you to share some of the key, initiat key initiatives which could like uh, help the leadership team to set the right tone and uh, creating a, a trickle-down effect in the organization, what those initiatives could be? What do you suggest? So, Abdul Banan, I think, uh, you know, ensure that you have an effective compliance program in place. Um, but some important ones uh, we could highlight on those. For example, you know, number one, it could be, have you made sure that, you know, your compliance program is integrated into your, uh, you know, the core values of your organization, the, uh, the strategy of the organization, the mission of the organization, you know, in its cultural values, are they all gelled in together or not? Um, then number two, another very important thing is walk the talk. Uh, for example, we might say uh, that we have zero tolerance for, let's say, harassment maybe, uh, but when a wrongdoing happens, uh, do we see that, you know, a similar action is taken when it's time to take the action? Do we actually, does that message translate into action or not? Because if we, let's say somebody, we're letting somebody off the hook very easily, at the same time we're saying we have zero tolerance for it, then we're sending out a contradictory message. So it's very important to walk the talk for the employees to be able to see um, that, you know, required actions are taken when the time comes. Uh, similarly, two uh, very important other things that can be done is, um, you know, somehow, you know, including ENC in the performance goals of the senior management so that they're able to own up the compliance agenda as well, and, you know, run it through their streams and in their divisions. And lastly, I think consideration should be given to, you know, the ENC history um, of a particular employee while considering them for promotion or while we're doing succession planning, uh, you know, for different roles, um, ENC should be something that should be taken into, into consideration. So I think, you know, these are steps which are, you know, which if taken, they embed sort of into the organization at all levels and hence the acceptability and they're sort of woven into the culture uh, within the organization. 